Yes, I'm going to give you my top 10 heavy bag boxing drills. That's going to help you get better at boxing. So the next time you're in the gym, make sure you're doing some of these drills and I guarantee you that you will improve. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. And on my YouTube channel, I give you lots of boxing education. So make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss another video like this. I'm guessing you're not hitting the heavy bag right now while you're watching this video. So what I recommend you do is after you've watched this video is email it to yourself. So you've got it in your inbox. So the next time you're on the heavy bag, you can always go to it and that will help you right there. Remember these drills. Heavy bag drill number nine is my favorite of all time. It really helped me get better and knock out so many of my opponents. So make sure you keep watching until drill number nine, because that one will change the game for you. And one more thing before I show you the first drill is you can do these drills during your heavy bag round, maybe at the beginning of the round or the end of the round, or you can just do a full round of doing these drills to get maximum results. All right, let's get into drill number one, which is moving your head before and after every punch or combination. This is something that you should be doing anyway to get into good habits to make you look like a proper boxer. So what I mean by that, so I'm here on the heavy bag, I throw a jab, I'm moving, I'm moving my head before and after. Coming away. Now this doesn't just make me look like a pro because I'm here, but also if I'm in the ring with someone and I'm moving my head before and after everything, it's gonna make them really wary and afraid of throwing punches because they think I might slip and come back with a counter. And also I'm not just the standing target where they might hit me every single time. So move your head before and after every punch or combination will really change the game for you. Number two is working on head-body combinations. Whatever the combination might be, you're gonna hit upstairs, then drop downstairs. So try and mix it up, different combinations. Head, body, we'll move, we'll move, we'll move. Because if you think about it, in real boxing, that's what you gotta to do. To have successive landing body shots, you've gotta hit them up there. Because when you hit them up there, that's gonna leave down there open. So hit them there, then there. So whatever the combination might be, head, body. I love this. Yes. Moving on to number three is body head. So we're reversing them rules right there. We're going to hit them in the body. If you hit someone in the body, chances are the arms are going to come down, leave them open for the head shots there. So I'm here, I'm jab the body, jab the body, jab the body, and then come upstairs after. Different combinations. I'll come inside. This is a great place to do this. Come inside, throw a few punches downstairs. Ba, ba, ba. Then finish upstairs a bit faster. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, love that combination. All right, moving on to number four. This is a great drill to improve the best, most important punch in boxing, which is your jab. Yes, your jab is the most important punch in boxing. I've done a full video on that. You can check it out after you've watched this video. So what is the drill with the jab? So what we're going to do, we're going to start off throwing a single jab, then from there, a double jab, ba, ba. Then from there, a triple jab, then from there, four jabs. And when we up four jabs, you're gonna come back down to three, to two, to one. So it's kind of like a pyramid, but we start at the top, we're gonna to come down, and we're going to go back up. So here it is, single jab, double jab, triple jab, oh, four jabs. Come on back down to three jabs. Moving, two, one. Then we go back up the ladder with two, moving, three, and you get the point right there. Moving up and down. And what that's going to do, if you're working on good form and good technique, it's going to improve your most important punch in boxing, which is your jab. So try that drill, it's a real good one. And number five is playing with your different ranges of your lead hook and your rear hook. You don't really need to have a structure to this, as long as you just know and you're thinking about what you're working on at that time. Here I'm working on my close range lead hook. So I'm close to the back, working on that hook. Then I can do the same with the rear hook, close inside. And then you can do mid range with the lead. So a mid range here, a mid range hook, if you don't know, is where your arm's in a 90 degree angle. The short range is where it's closer to your face. And then they've got the long range after. And I've done a full video on four different hook variations. You definitely check that one out after this. So again, I've done the short range. Now I'm in the mid range, bump. 
Then from there, I go to the long range. And again, you can do it with both hands. So I'm going to do a mid range with my rear hand. And a long range with the rear hand. Yes, playing with your ranges. And now with this, if all you've got to do is think about it. Think about it and do it. That's all you've got to do. Think about what you're going to do and then execute it by doing the combinations, working on good form and technique all the time. Number six is a little bit similar to number one. Remember we had the head moving before every single punch. This time we're going to do feints before every punch. So I'm here, I'm going to feint for that nice one too. I'm here, I'm moving around, feint for the combo. I'm here, feint, 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 keep feint, feint, then punch, feint, then punch. Always keep your opponent thinking what you're doing. And if you're not a fighter, if you're doing this for fitness, you should always get into the habit of fainting as well. Because it makes you look legit, like a real fighter. And that's what we want to look like when we're hitting the heavy bag, no matter what you're training for. Number seven and number eight, I'm going to make you think a little bit. So with number seven, it is a three punch combination, but I want a different combination every single time. Now, try and do this for a two or three minute round. It's going to get your brain really ticking and really thinking. There is thousands of different three punch combinations, so we should never run short of ideas, but we do, because we're putting ourselves under pressure. Now I'm gonna do a few different three punch combinations, just thinking on the spot. Now, see what they are. Yeah, I was like five or six or seven there. Uh, but it's really got me thinking and thinking on the spot, which in boxing we've got to be able to do. We've got to really think on the spot when we're throwing these punches. So number eight is going to make you think even more than number seven did. But before I get into number eight, I just want to tell you about this supplement that I've been taking right here, Alpha Brain. That really helps me with my memory, with my focus, with my energy, with my creativity. It's really helping me with life, if you like. This is by Onnit, Onnit Alpha Brain, and this is backed by science. Now, if you want something that will support your memory, support your focus, and maybe help you live better like it does for me, you can go to honest.com forward slash boxing and they're giving everyone who uses that link 10% off everything on there. Whether you want Alpha Brain or any of the other great supplements. And I would never recommend any BS, but all of the supplements on that website is legit. And I take them daily. Not just these, but a lot more. Anyway, let's get on to number eight. Any five punch combinations, doing a different five punch combination every single time. Now, now when you're throwing five punch combinations on the bag, that's fast. You can either think about the combination before or you can think about it during the combination, which I like to do because it challenges my brain even more. And doing a different one every single time, you know, it really does challenge your brain. So there's thousands of five punch combinations like there is for three punch combinations and I'll do a few now. And that's what I do when I'm throwing these. One, two, three, four, five. I'll count in my head or I'll count out loud and that's really helping me remember how many punches I'm throwing because if you just throw a combination, you know, you might throw a number, you might throw six punches, or you might throw four punches and you want to hit five every time. So I can hit the bag five punches. One, two, three, four, five. Every single time. And I can work on speed, work on power. Bah, 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 bah. Woo! A one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Ooh, I like that. I'm feeling that a little bit too much. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to my favorite heavy bag drill of all time. And that is just working on one punch. And that punch is the lead hook to the body. When I was 14, 15, 16 years old, I used to just practice. I'd be in suicide. Bah, bah just working on that hook. And there's a video of me doing this when I was like 16 years old in Sunderland ABC boxing gym back in the northeast of England where I'm blasting in that heavy bag, perfecting my craft. And I ended up perfecting that left hook, which ultimately helped me stop so many of my opponents, knock out opponents, hurt opponents with that left hook to the body, had so much success with it to be my favorite punch in boxing. And that's all through doing this drill. So all I did, I'm inside here, work on that hook to the body. Work on singles, doubles, triples. And you can just see there how much power I'm getting in to that punch. And that's from doing this drill, from practicing that one single punch that is 
amazing and I love it so much. So I can't recommend it highly enough for you to do. Now moving on to the final drill for you to do on the heavy bag, which is counter punch. Think about counter punching. Now I know we're on the heavy bag and no one's punching us back, but I want you to visualize them punches coming back at you. And when a punch comes back at you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna defend. Now you're gonna counter after that. So let's see if I throw a jab, he throws a jab back. I'm gonna slip his jab and I'm gonna counter with my right hand over the top. So it'll be a just like this. Or another one, I've jabbed, he's through his right hand. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slip, slip inside, blast that hook the body in. Just like that. Then other counter punches and defenses that you can do, you can do a one, two block, one, two. You can do a one, two, step back, one, two, when you're stepping back in. Jab, lean back, cross. One, two, lean back, cross. You can do a jab, side step, two, hook. You can do a jab the head, right hand the body, left hook, slip. You've slipped that right hand, boom, come back with your counter punch. Great combination right there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I put a lot of time, energy into my videos. Also, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.